In Bridgerton, the Netflix period drama brought to the screen by Shonda Rhimes, the royals and aristocrats are white as well as black. The Netflix drama is based on Bridgerton, a novel series by Julia Quinn, which is fictional but based in reality. Its fictional base has led many viewers to believe that one aspect of the show that must be fictional is the presence of so many white people in British aristocracy. Now, the rate at which they appear may be skewed slightly higher, but more than one of the important black characters in the television series represent real black or partially black people from that time period. Today, we will talk about one of the most visible characters, Queen Charlotte. Was she black or biracial? Thank you all, especially E.M., for suggesting that I watch this show. Let me know in the comments section if you all would like a live stream about Bridgerton now, or shall I wait until the second season? And while you are down there, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know every time that I bring you edited content like this, or every time that I live stream and comment, I subscribed, so that I can say hello to you. Now, on to why you are here, Queen Charlotte. Queen Charlotte was a real queen who married King George III, the one who went to war with his American colonies and lost badly. They had a very quick courtship. It lasted only hours. Yes, Princess Charlotte, at the age of 17, arrived in London on September 8, 1761, and only six hours later, she was married to King George III. She was thought by many historians to be the first Black Queen of England, and if that is true, that would give two of her most famous descendants African ancestry as well. Those two would be Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II. So, why is there even a thought that Queen Charlotte would have been black or had some African ancestry? Mario de Valdez y Cocom is a historian who argues that Queen Charlotte was a direct descendant of the black branch of the Portuguese royal family. How was there a black branch of the Portuguese royal family? King Afonso III conquered a town named Faro in the 13th century. As part of the spoils of war, he demanded the governor's daughter and took her as a concubine. Oruana was the governor's daughter. She was a black moor, and as was custom, even for a concubine, King Afonso bestowed a royal title upon her after she had a child with him. She had three children with the king altogether. Sex with the king, even if it was unwanted by her, which it likely could have been, would have come with privileges and titles for herself and for her offspring. According to the historian Valdez, one of King Afonso's sons with his Moorish concubine married into the noble de Sousa family, which also has African ancestry. This would have given Queen Charlotte African blood from both families. The question of whether or not Charlotte had African ancestry has never been unequivocally answered. But there are many compelling things, including her family tree, which would point one to draw the conclusion that she was, at least partly, African. Queen Charlotte's physician described her as, quote, small and crooked with a true mulatto face, end quote. Writer and historian Sir Walter Scott referred to her as, quote, ill-colored, unquote. A prime minister of her time wrote that, quote, her nose is too wide and her lips too thick, end quote. Many Blacks who lived in British colonies during Charlotte's reign would never be able to have an audience with Her Majesty or be close enough to see her face to face in person. But they took pride in seeing her image on their coins and were convinced that she was Black. Sir Alan Ramsay was the prominent portrait painter in the times of Queen Charlotte. He painted her face in a way that highlighted her African features. Some of Queen Charlotte's portraits show a white presenting woman, but not the ones by Sir Alan Ramsay. So, if he was the most prominent and sought after portraitist of that time, does it not make sense that perhaps his images are the ones that are the most accurate? 
Do you see African features when you look at his portraits of Queen Charlotte? It should also be noted that Sir Alan Ramsay was an abolitionist and married to the niece of Lord Mansfield, the judge who ruled that slavery should be abolished in the British Empire in 1772. So, perhaps because of his disdain for slavery, Alan Ramsay would be more inclined to show Queen Charlotte as having whatever phenotypically black features she truly had. According to a London Sunday Times article, quote, the royal family has hidden credentials that make its members appropriate leaders of Britain's multicultural society. It has black and mixed race royal ancestors who have never been publicly acknowledged, end quote. Yet and still, some scholars dismiss all of the evidence pointing to Queen Charlotte's blackness as weak at best. But what do you think? Was Queen Charlotte black? Was she biracial or multiracial? Or was she only white? Let me know what you think in the comments section and let's talk about it. And here's a quick fun fact. The USA's own Charlotte, North Carolina is named after Queen Charlotte. If you have ever heard of Charlotte being referred to as the Queen City and wondered why, well now you know. Always check my community tab to see what is coming on this channel. It is often where I post polls to get your input on what you want to see next. This week of January 24th, 2021, I will post a couple of poll questions regarding Bridgerton, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Ty Said What Ty Said channel. Please leave a thumbs up and comment so that we can get a discussion going. And share this video on all of your social media, especially your Facebook. That really helps me out a lot. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know when my next video is ready for you. And if you don't like what I'm saying, but you love it, feel free to hit that applaud button just below your video screen there and send me some donations, donations, donations. Yeah, baby. See you on the next video.